So Power Lunch Thursday is presented by Marquee Monday. She's our performance speaker and coach today. Every Thursday, we'll present a new tool, tip, or guest speaker that will help you to discover and live your dream life. So make sure you save this time in your calendar for to join us each week. Now, Marquis is a John Maxwell certified coach, speaker, and teacher, and she's the author of Seven Steps to Discovering and Living Your Dream Life. Originally from New York, Marquis tapped her way to Las Vegas as a world-famous Radio City Rockette, and she is here today to uplift you, educate you, and inspire you to balance your life and live your dreams. So let's welcome Marquis. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you so much. You're and everybody, welcome. thank you again for being here with us. Power Lunch Thursday is set up so that, as Ryan said, we can go over tools, tips, and strategies to help you balance your life so that you can achieve your goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires. So Dream Life has seven components. Last week, we went over those seven components. And I'll do a quick recap, but I think right now, I believe we have our keynote speakers that just popped in. So I wanna make sure we say good morning to her. Good morning, good morning. Can you hear us? I can. Can you hear and see me good? Yes, yes. absolutely. Oh, thank you yay. so much. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you so much. I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, we've just gotten started on the call this morning and I was just telling everybody that, you know, balance your life, live your dreams is part of seven steps to discovering and living your dream life, seven components. And we were going to do a quick recap. Now I know your time is short, so I don't want to labor on that. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we will quickly jump into our presentation. Dream life is built up of seven components, which are spirituality, health and fitness, wellness and beauty, travel and leisure, arts, entrepreneurship, entertainment, finance, and mentorship being the seventh one where we give back and we pay it forward so that we really do start that cycle again. Today, our speaker is going to actually hit that first component with her talk with us today. Today, we are presenting Ms. Wanda Webb, and Wanda is a author, mentor, entrepreneur, and keynote speaker. She's joining us today to talk about the psychology of confidence. She's passionate about leading and creating women leaders. And she launched her book this year, High Heels, as well as a brand new coaching membership. Now, we are only in June, which is only six months in, and she already has five speaking engagements this year alone. Wanda is so grateful and she is living the purpose in her life. And she is passionate about you doing the exact same thing. So we can see how she lines up with the Dream Life and Discover and Live Your Dream Life platform. So without further ado this morning, I wanna welcome Wanda Webb for our Psychology of Confidence talk today so that we can truly learn how this will be a strategy and a tip that we can use in our lives so that reach those dreams, goals, aspirations, and desire. So without further ado, Wanda, can I turn it over to you? Okay, it's been a morning already. I'm so grateful. Thank you for that beautiful introduction and you know, just the opportunity to be in uh, a space with like-minded people and for us to have a, a good conversation and to share, that's a blessing. And so I just wanna commend everyone for being here this afternoon and just making time because um, the more that I learn about personal development and the more that I learn about my mindset and how I can help people and the truths of my life versus the stories I've been telling myself, the more that I learn, the more that I realize that it's just not optional to know this information, that this information literally can change the decision-making of your life, allow you to make healthier decisions that get you where you want to be really and give you get you closer to what you really see for yourself i won't say an end goal or a paradise but what you see for yourself and so i am just love being in these personal development spaces so a little bit about myself i live in dallas texas uh, with my amazing husband of 15 years and together we have a tribe of five three from my belly two from my heart and we're a big blended uh, family with my father-in-law living with us now full time. It's been a blessing to have him in our home. And we have a big full life. Um, we are both full-time entrepreneurs and we worked together for 15 years. Now, let me tell you something. Can I? 
full-time in business with your spouse, y'all know I have to be a little bit, a little bit developed in order to pull that off because that is hard, okay? But I, I love the vision that we share for our family and I love the things that we do together that are productive. And I can say that I have harmony in my life. I want to talk about that word for a little bit because I believe that every single one of you on the line that you're not just um, interested in, in, in getting better for yourself. I believe that when you start to really develop your mind, develop and design your life, one of the things that are a byproduct is you want to help other people do the same. Sometimes you got to be quiet because you don't want to be the unwarranted advice person, right? You have that urge to say, man, let me share what I know. And so I want to give you something. I want to share something that I know that I think will have you think new things and allow people around you to think new things. And it's this idea that we all say we just want to be happy. When you ask somebody what they want, most people are going to say, I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. I just want my kids to be happy. I just want to be happy, right? That's where most people, they, they, they land and that's good. But when you think about what does that mean? I want to be happy. I want to have this sudden rush of emotion of joy. No. I want to be content. There's, there's wisdom and contentment. I want to have reached all the peaks that I'm shooting for, not necessarily. So when people say, I want to be happy, it's so interesting because that's a really abstract way of describing what we want. And I had a, an opportunity to hear um, one of my mentors, Dr. Conway say that there's this, this probability that what if what they're really trying to say is, I want harmony in my life. That fits a little better, doesn't it? I want harmony in my relationships. I want harmony in my work. I want harmony in my parenting. I want harmony in my body. I want harmony in where I live and my lifestyle in my home. I want harmony. I want harmony in my convictions. And when I, when I heard him say it that way, I was like, that was it. You know, when you know you're about to bite into something that you really enjoy and that was it. It was satisfying to hear it said that way because it just fits so much better than I want happy. And so one, just knowing that if you, if you ever get the opportunity to maybe help someone's thought process lean towards harmony instead of happiness, you, you not only change your life, you change theirs because then they don't chase everything that makes them happy. They ask a different question now, will this bring me harmony? Think back at all the things you did when you wanted to be happy. And if instead the question you'd ask yourself is, let me just make a harmony, a harmonious decision. Good things, you know, maybe everything's a learning experience. You're right here at this moment for the right reason, but maybe could have missed a couple of knocks on the head, right? And so when we talk about harmony, the conversation I love to have with people is confidence. It's a confident person is able to go towards harmony. A confident person gives themselves permission to explore, to try new, to, to fail, a, a person that has confidence because the definition of confidence is I trust myself. I trust my ability. In fact, to be precise, it's I trust my ability. Now, isn't that a little different than what we might think confidence is? Confidence is not, do I look good in this shirt? Confidence is not, do I fit in? Do I have enough? That's not confidence. Confidence is, do I trust my ability? I trust my ability. And when someone can say, I trust my ability, they can make a little, a, a little more uh, unfamiliar steps, maybe to, to, to seek harmony instead of happiness. I hope this makes sense. So what I do specifically, and what I've really kind of unintentionally niched down to in the last two years, is I coach women who are right around 
that six figure mark in their businesses and their purposes and their nonprofits. And we figure out a way to push them towards another level. That's, that is, I never thought a conversation I would land in, but it's a conversation that I love so much because what I've seen in the group of women I work with, which is about 40 to 50 women a year, is that they will not apply for the raise. They will not apply for the grant. They will not take a, a step. And when you get the opportunity to dig deep and really ask why, a lot of them will say, I don't, I don't yet feel qualified. I don't, you know, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to get it wrong. And I think it is so amazing how honorable almost of a conviction that is. You know, I don't, I just want, I want to do the right thing. But we have to put a flashlight on that and we have to ask ourselves. Is there anything in that that might be really kind of messing with our confidence? I trust myself. I trust my ability, but I don't want to get it wrong. I'm not going to, I'm not going to level up yet. Let me make sure I'm ready. I need a little more preparation. And so I always ask people to kind of ask themselves, where in my life do I probably need to give myself permission to just get a little bigger? try a little more, explore something new, and really shoot for harmony. I want to do something better here. So I'm going to give you examples in my life where I said, I need harmony here. In my business, I needed harmony. I was so used to doing everything. I come, I was a nurse. My husband was a pilot. We come from great careers. We loved our jobs. And when my husband medically retired out the Air Force, there was a different demand on me as a mother and as a nurse and potentially a full-time provider by myself with a sick husband. And so there was a season of our life where roles changed quickly. And what we saw for our life, that just wasn't what it was going to be. He had these big dreams to, to really push it. You know, when you join the Air Force, you, and you go and become an officer and you're a pilot, you're not doing that on accident. He wanted to take that as far as he could take that. And unfortunately, when he got sick, it changed roles in the house and things got different. Now, well, listen, I was not confident. I did not think I could do what we were doing. I did not trust my ability. And in that season, my husband wanted to do something radical and he wanted to go full-time entrepreneurship on me. I thought he lost his mind, you guys. And so what I did to prepare is I said, I'm going to be the world's best nurse. <laughs> this is how I prepared. And ultimately, about a year into his full-time entrepreneurship, it just made no more sense for me to continue to work outside the home. And that was a great thing. That was a blessing. And I finally, kicking and screaming, joined him in full-time business. And that wasn't for me. That was not my personality. I was an amazing employee, super loyal. I want all the awards. I'll do everything right. And so maybe that's why he wanted to hire me full-time. You know, he probably knew he could get it for cheap too. And so in our home, following really the mentorship, the events, the books, the leaders, I mean, a decade's worth of constant coaching and mentorship, and it's radically changed my life. That is what has sharpened me and allowed me to be an author and to be brave enough to share my story and allow me to be a coach and to be a full-time consultant and to be home and to be in business still with my spouse and to stretch myself more. I'm, I'm, I want to do more. I want to help, help other people write their book. I want to help other people see uh, what it looks like to transition into full-time entrepreneurship. I want to help other women surpass that six-figure goal. So now I have this burning desire to be a full-time entrepreneur. That is not who I was. And when I look at my journey and I really try to dissect it, because man, if I could find that one little moment that shifted in my mindset, I'd be rich, right? I could write a whole series. But I look for that moment in that 10 year journey and it doesn't exist. There's no one tiny, it's not like when you birth a child and you look at them for the first time and then imprints itself. It's not like that. It's not like when you fall in love and you get those butterflies for the first time and you're thinking, oh my God, I think like I could, like, is this more than a, a boyfriend? It's not like that. 
there's not really this one tiny moment. I was kind of disappointed. Well, my little one magical personal development moment so I could tell you my story, but that's not really what it was. It was 10 years of personal development. It was 10 years of like, I'm embarrassed at my desk because I do really buy the books and I really read the books and I really study the books and I really have the highlighter obsession. And I really believe that the more that I learn about myself and how I can relearn things, the more people I can help and the better legacy I can leave. So where I changed, where my confidence had huge impact was turning me into a businesswoman making me a better, more effective, and more patient parent. I come from a very loud Puerto Rican Bronx family, okay? Yelling is, how, is just what, that's, that's just life. That's how you talk. And I had to learn that if I wanted to produce healthy, happy children who are loving and kind and who can make an impact in other people's life, I was gonna first have to show them a, patient, a level of patience and love in the home that I, I, I wasn't ready to do. I had so, so confidence and harmony changed my parenting. Confidence and harmony changed my marriage. We do not come from uh, what is considered whole homes. We both come from single family homes. We both come from poverty. We both come from brokenness and drug addiction and homelessness. And we both come from that. So together we shouldn't have a, ha a healthy, happy, thriving family of five and being able to produce the way that we do, living in what, in, in what I call our dreams. I get to do my business. He gets to do his business. We do business together. So confidence and harmony in my parenting and my marriage, harmony in my mindset and how I see myself. I'm very grateful that in an era where constant comparison is just how kind of we all live, it's not just the teenagers, it's us too. It's not just the impressionable kids, it's adults too. That we're impacted every day by what we see. I'm grateful to know the difference between confidence and comparison. And so my point, my point today is that when you just become a never ending student, we all learn from one another and we keep a learner's mindset. And for me specifically about how I operate, how people operate, how I can change the way we think, how I can fight my own battles and help people fight theirs. For me specifically, when I dig into learning about that and I become a student of that, that's how I'm able to make the biggest impact. What is it that you're leaning into that is gonna, can allow you to make that impact? I am really grateful um, for the coaching and the community that you guys have here together. And I just wanna commend you and I wanna encourage you to keep doing this, it matters. This is gym time for the mind, okay? And in my nursing career, what I was uh, really good at and what I spent most of my time doing was um, geriatric care. And I loved it, loved it. Let me tell you, I can't wait. I cannot wait to get to that season of my life and have the permissions that people in their 80s and 90s have. I can't wait to get to that age. And I, I learned so much about human beings in the end stages of their life. And I feel like if there's anything I could tell the average person that maybe they don't know that I learned in hospice and I learned in, a, in the geriatric centers and I learned in private care, if there's anything I can tell you is that there's this uncanny thing that happens when someone knows that time's limited and they start to have these conversations and it didn't matter who these people were and what the situation was. It didn't matter that the conversations sounded a little similar. No matter how different these people were, the conversation sounded similar and it sounded something like this. I wish I'd been more present. I wish I would have chosen joy a little bit more, spent more time with my family, been more aware, not reacted the way that I had had more peace in my life. It sounds like that. And look at what you're doing. You're doing that now. And so it makes you my favorite people to be around. And I just wanna commend you for being in this community, for knowing that this mental space together is important. These conversations are important. 
and to maybe just scan your landscape and ask yourself, where does my confidence sit? Can I say I trust my ability? And if you can, congratulations. And if you can't, explore that. Ask yourself, do I know what harmony looks like in my life so that it's clear? Maybe you've been looking for happy. How can you shift that a little bit and say, I'm looking for some harmony. What does that look like for me? Because I'll tell you what I thought I wanted to make me happy is really different from what will bring me harmony. And so I want to thank you guys for being on the line. Thank you for the time together. And um, again, thank you for the grace at the top of the hour. I really wanted to be here and share some time with you. And I'm literally just backstage talk, literally between kids appointments. I have a kid that summer is like 14 days in. I have a kid with brand new braces and I have a kid with a broken arm. What is happening? <laughs> so I'm grateful. Thank you so much for being here and uh, allowing me to share with you in this time. And I'm going to give it back to you. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. This was amazing. And I'm, I'm grateful that you were able to get on this time. Believe you me, I do understand what's happening today with the crazies <laughs> because it's all going on on the family. Um, can I ask really quick, does anybody have a question for Wanda? Yeah, please, I have time. I really do. I've created the afternoon time. Called being, yeah, it's called being mommy. That's right. That is exactly right. <laughs> I, um, I want to share with you quickly that discover and live your dream life. Those seven platforms that we do, you spoke on a couple of them. One, the entrepreneurial life, but the spiritual life. When we don't believe in ourselves, we already defeat the possibility of becoming whatever our goals, dreams, and aspirations and desires are. And that speaking into confidence and harmony truly is right there in line with that understanding that you have to trust yourself. Yeah. If you don't, it's game over before you've even really gotten started. Mm -hmm. is, is anybody else want to chime in? I'd like to add something to that. Um, you know, a lot of times it's a misconception that we arrive somewhere, that we arrive anywhere in this life on any specific topic or subject. And the truth of the matter is, you know, the word of God tells us that we're to renew our minds. So as far as confidence is concerned, as, as far as handling everyday, you know, problems and things that come at us, as far as spirituality, as far as all the different areas in the dream life platform is if there's something that you feel that you're a misstep in or that you generally want to create more in your life, then that is something that you are to hear and listen more to because we come to renewing and growing in a specific topic as we research as we read, as we listen, as we speak to ourselves. And that's how we actually build our confidence in, in any of these areas, not just one specific area, but in any area that you desire to um, become more of, more of what you were yesterday. Because ultimately none of us are in competition with each other. We're all in competition with who we were yesterday. Yes. That's all that's required of us to live presently today in this moment right now. The only benchmark or ruler we should have should be who we were yesterday. Right. Just wanted to, to uh, throw that in there. Yes. Thank you for sharing because that is true wisdom. The comparisons are never with externals. They are with our own internals to become better at who we were created to be. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. Anybody else on the call want to chime in there? And Wanda, again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. My, my pleasure. You guys have a beautiful afternoon. This would be our spirituality. And it's the balance, the first step in the balance process of you believing within yourself she mentioned that trusting in yourself. That is the beginning point. In the book, Seven Steps, it talks about becoming more decisive. And you must make that decision within yourself, the decision, the belief, and then you start to move in that process. 
So now with our Power Lunch Thursdays, what I'd like us to continue on doing is picking through our seven components and really chunking them down to bite-sized pieces of what that looks like in our individual lives. And of course, last week, the question was, what area did you feel in your life you would want to work on? And Corinne was gracious enough to share that she wanted to expose herself to more travel and leisure. And Corinne, do you want to share your praise report on that, so to speak, or your what you did to make sure. it? Yes, yay. So um, I decided my, one of my girlfriends, one of my best friends is turning 50. So I made the decision to go to Hawaii to attend her birthday party. So we're going to go and have some fun and have some joy in our life. Um, do that. Yes. Yes. Kudos to you on that. That's fabulous. And hey, Hawaii is not a bad destination either. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Would anybody else from last week to this week would anybody else like to share uh, changed over from last week's call? And if you weren't here last week, let's take a minute because this week we have more people on the call. So let's unmute our lines, if you will, and we'll go back to the check-in because we didn't do that today for purposes of time and our speaker. So uh, Ryan, will you call on our participants today? And we're talking our name, our occupation, where we're from, maybe where we want to go. And if there's a component that you noticed. Absolutely. So let's start with Jarena. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jarena King. Um, I am a native Southern California, born and raised. I have um, been here in Las Vegas for 30 years. I am currently in the process of building my third stream of income. I'm an entrepreneur and I have been since um, I was 13 years old. And I love business and I love people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. How about Kina? Uh, yes. Um, my name's Kina Manuel. I live right outside of Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, in Douglasville, Georgia. Um, I was laid off um, about a year ago and decided to take a little bit of time to myself. Being on this call, listening to, to everything, it's been really good i think today <laughs> very good lucy hello everyone my name is lucy and i am a virtual assistant actually the best way to put it is your helper 101 i think that that's a better name uh what i do is i take over all the things that you don't you don't want to uh, worry about so that will be social media website design website management anything related to that i am your girl and something that I have applied this week is being more positive. I have noticed through life is something about myself is that um, I was not that way. And through these months, I have been trying to change it. And I do see the change now. And I'm really happy for that. Thank you. Great. Beautiful. Thank you. Corinne. Hello, um, I'm Corinne, and I do production for corporate events, being producer, show caller, stage manager, talent liaisons, things like that. I'm also a realtor, and I do Medicare and supplements as well, so I stay very busy. Um, I'm very um, fortunate, and I really appreciate this group because even in it just existing for a week, um, it makes me step outside my, my comfort zone. So I have told myself there are things I need to do via networking, via get out of the house, be around more people, find some joy in your life, do some activities. And I wasn't allowing myself to do that for whatever reason. I know that I need it, but I wasn't doing it. So Marquis has kind of been my accountability partner. She's been inviting me to things. And instead of doing my instinct and saying, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, yeah, I'm there. So I'm learning to say yes more. I'm learning to give back more and I'm learning to do things for myself, which are so important and not just work, work, work all the time. You have to find some joy and some balance in your life. And I really appreciate the harmony that we just spoke about because it's, you may hear things all the time, but some things you, you need to hear it said a certain way. And in my life, I've always been like, you need to find happiness. You need to find joy. You need to find things to be excited about. And I never thought about finding harmony. And that makes so much sense. So I really appreciate the way she put that today. Very good. Beautiful. Thank you. Cynthia and then Jason. My name is Jason Moultrie. I work for Westpac Wealth Partners. I am a Southern California kid as well, from Long Beach, California. 
been in Vegas about 18 years. Uh, Marquis was actually my daughter's, when she was four years old, Marquis was my daughter's dance instructor. So mm -hmm. known her for a long time. She's a great person. Uh, so glad that I was able to reconnect with her all these years later. And uh, just happy to be here. The, the call today was great. The message was great. I, I'm so grateful that I, I took this call and wasn't too busy, too busy to, to hop on. So um, I did want to say that I, you know, in, in the personal development of myself, I, I've never read a book on, on motivation or self-development without um, the service piece being there. So people that are, are leaders in our industry, um, they live to serve the community. They live to help other people. And I see that in this group. This group is no different. So, you know, I'll continue to come back. Um, just want to say thank you to all you, you know, that showed up today. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. And we'll try Cynthia once more. Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay. So I will go. My name is Ryan, uh, another Southern California native from Orange County. Um, personal development has been the focus of my life for the past 15 years, because I was a completely different person when I first began. And I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was going in my life. I just knew that there was something more. So I went inside and I went outside and I sought opportunities to learn more, um, learn from other people, and also learn from intuition inside. And that has completely transformed my life. So what I'm doing now is I am a professional voice actor. So I, I speak commercials. I uh, do cartoon characters. I'm even in a puppet show that happens here in Vegas. And I'm beginning to live the dream life that why I missed 20 years ago. So my life is transforming because I allowed myself to transform. And I'm grateful to be here and to be working with Marquis, who is doing the same, helping others. And I see Cynthia has unmuted. Yes, I was driving and it wasn't safe to be touching the buttons on, <laughs> sure. on my laptop. But um, yeah, this is Cynthia. I'm traveling from Los Angeles near LAX airport down to Newport Beach for graduation today. And right now I'm in transition, uh, spent the last couple of years assisting my parents. And so uh, the message today really, uh, you know, hit home for me that what's really important in life is to be present and to, um, you know, be so grateful and thankful for all the things that we take for granted every day, just to stand and, you know, do the things we do to be here on this call today as a, a gift. So thanks for putting this on and um, and thanks for letting me share and have a voice in the meeting today. But it was excellent. I really enjoyed it. And I can't wait to share this message with um, all my friends because everyone needs to be on a call like this today. That's my two cents. I'm going to go back to driving. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you so much. And everybody, thank you again for your time. We've been on the call now 45 minutes and we've already gotten so much out of it that we could take this, I'll chunk it down, you can get the replay. Please know that you just go to the website, click on the replay and you'll be able to get the link for that. That seventh component, that mentorship component, that giving back, that paying it forward, that truly is that cycle, that last piece when we're running to reach all of our goals, dreams, aspirations and desires, it is all for naught if we don't get to that last piece and that's giving it back, you know, sharing and giving it back. In the seven steps to discovering and living your dream life, there is a book. I'm available for one-on-one -on -one coaching with that book. You can purchase that book on Amazon. It's very inexpensive. Um, I didn't put it out there, you know, to gouge and make a, a living off of the book sales. The reason it's out there is for you to walk through the seven steps. It's a workbook in a book. So after each chapter, there is a component for you to take action, to do. It's great when we read material and then we put it on the shelf, but that doesn't make it happen. The happenings happen when you start taking action and doing them. And so 
As we go through this month, we'll have our Power Thursdays. And each week, again, I'm going to look for someone to cover one of those components so that we can get those tips, tools, and strategies for our life. And we'll find something new for July and we'll continue to grow and experience the new things. But the more you dig in and you take on for yourself, the faster you're going to get goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires. In the 30-day intensive coaching program, it's called the Marquee Method. And in that method, I come up with, I have come up with several different acronyms for things. And Go Dads, Go Dads, G-D-A-D is goals, dreams, aspirations, and desires. And, And there are, again, components within that just to help you take those action steps. I want to yell kudos, kudos, kudos to Corinne for last week. She said, I want to travel. This week, she's already booked a trip to Hawaii to go hang out with a girlfriend. Uh, Not only has she covered the travel and leisure, leisure section, she's also added some of the components of the entertainment section in there because I'm, I know they're going to have fun. They're going to party and do that thing. I want to thank Jarena. Last week she spoke and she helped us understand our finance and the relationship with finance. So we definitely are going to delve back into that again and get some more tips and strategies for that component in itself. And today she was gracious enough to give us a component in the wisdom section, you know, on how we need to be present within ourselves, concurring with our speaker, Wanda Webb. Now, Wanda, you can find her on IG, which is Instagram. That platform that she has, you can actually sign up I love, you know, that everything can be done virtually, but you can sign up for her thing and get her book from Instagram. That's Wanda Webb. And Lucy, thank you so much for joining us today. If you need help (laughs) with your social media, please reach out to Lucy. Um, I'd like to build in a component where we can actually share each other's information. Lucy, do you want to tell them quickly where they can find you? Uh, Feel free to reach out to my email. It will be lucyservices1 at uh, at gmail.com, or you can call me. It will be 609-369-609. 369-4518. So we can have a Zoom meeting or maybe just a call to assess the things that I can help you with. I'm always happy to help. I'm always happy to help people to achieve uh, their dreams. And sometimes when you have so many things on your plate, it's a bit hard to get that done. So I'm here to just take over the things that you just, you're overwhelmed with. So you're able to achieve what do you want to achieve? Excellent. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Next week, again, we're doing our Power Lunch Thursday at 11 o'clock. When you register, I know that the process that I've used for registering is a little lengthy. So I kind of streamline it, especially if I know your numbers, I just send you the link. But I did it that way so that one, we could get used to that process. Corinne, thank you so much because you did register through the site. And then on there, at that page, you can always click on the Power Lunch picture and that will bring you to the Zoom or give you that link. I wanna thank you all again for your time. I know time is the commodity in our life that is, that's the one thing that we're all trying to like hold on to that time. So can I I'm, share one thing before you sign off? Absolutely. A suggestion with the group. And that is a very wise uh, educator and mentor shared with me um, a statement that he specifically lives by. It was life changing for him. So I'd love to share it with you all. And that is um, when you learn something, be sure to share it and give it away. That is the only way you get to keep it and perfect it. And his name was Curtis Cobain. He is a cryptocurrency whiz in uh, NFTs and cryptocurrency and in the financial industry. And uh, his mentor shared it with him and it was life-changing. So I would uh, suggest or recommend that each of you maybe take one little nugget from today's session, anyone you like, and share it and give it away with someone else. This ensures that you're able to keep it for yourself. Yes. I love it. Beautiful. Thank you, Jarena. I know exactly who I'm going to share with. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. 
So I want to thank you guys and thank you again for coming on the call today, Power Lunch Thursdays. My name is Marquis, as you know, there's Ryan for you. He told you he's a voice over coach. So if you need to do any um, of your promotional materials and you need a spokesperson, he's a great voice. Uh, his reel is already up. So Ryan, you can send them to your website. Sure. I'll type it in the chat right now. Great. And if you need that, please, by all means, we definitely want to share our services and share our message from today. <laughs> Thank you, Marquis. You are welcome. Thank you so much. All right. So we will see you next week. Power Lunch Thursday, 11 o'clock, same place. I will send the link out. Ciao. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>